this is a great, what a sight. What a sight. It's just, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's not very good. It ain't, it ain't like the old one. It was bigger and white and it was plastic and I got mad. And I got mad one afternoon and threw it in the pavement. And it shattered. Anyway, uh, a couple of little quickie stories. Uh, we're going back a ways here. This had to be either 67, maybe 66, 68. We were just getting going at that point. We took the band to Sherburne. How many remember that? Yeah, look at that. Hands go up, okay? And I, and I had said to the whole gang, I said, look, this is a learning experience for us. We're not going to come back with any trophies. It's not going to be that way, you know. And the, but learn and, and watch and see what you can observe and so on and so forth. And we went through our thing. We did a real good job. And I was real proud of the whole band. And they got to the awards afterwards. And we didn't get anything for either the parade or for the field band, anything like that. And then they did drill majors. And Ed Maris, how many remember Ed Maris? Ed Maris got first place drum major in the first significant band competition we were ever in. I was forever, thank you. That was pretty neat. That was pretty cool. Another one, real quick one here. Um, I think this is back, oh, 79, 80. We just got the brand new powder blue uniforms at that point. Okay? Right? Yeah. And we had played uh, a Friday night football game at home at halftime and we were absolutely god awful. <laughs> and the staff was not happy, and we gathered in what was then the staff room next to my office, okay? And I said, you know what we ought to do? I said, and I won't tell you what we talked about, but they totally agreed with me. So the next day, the marching band comes in, because we're going to Oswego that night to perform, to compete, okay? This is Saturday now. And we get them all in the band room, and I, we talked a little bit about commitment and a little bit about uh, being focused and being really part of the group and the responsibilities and so on. And I said, and you know what we decided last night after rehearsal? We decided that probably staff collectively is giving of itself about 80 to 85 percent of the total 100 percent that needs to be given. And we're not getting back more than about 10 or 15 from the band. And the show that night proved it. So you know what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to withdraw all the staff from this afternoon's preparation rehearsals. And you can go home if you want to. You can do whatever you want to. But we will leave at 6 p.m. on the buses for the competition. And we got up, walked out, went over to the restaurant. Perkins. Yep, 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 yep. Went over to Perkins and sat there, OK? And every single section of the band began working on their own. I'll cut to the chase and tell you, after the show was over with, we had won. I walked in to talk to the judges, and what I'm looking, he said, what the heck did you feed those guys before they were <laughs> It was just, it was a complete turnaround. <laughs> and it was, it was an incredible performance. It was really, really wonderful. Um, wanted to mention, uh, to you that you are all part of a very, very special experience in this band. And you have had wonderful, wonderful quality teaching and strong leadership year after year after year. And that consistency and that expectation has made this group whatever it is. That includes instructors, it includes teachers, band directors, director of music, Board of Education, Administration, all the way, this program has retained itself for 45 years. It's a wonderful thing. It, 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 it's just, and it's, it's a lot of sacrifice on your part. You, uh, we all have a special feeling about this group, and what you're going to do today what you're going to do today is give a whole bunch of people down that hill a memory that they will never forget. 
And you will also never forget this. Because it's just, it comes from way down deep inside. Okay? So, please remember that. We want to remember two people who have, have passed in the past five years that you should be aware of. Okay? Patty Eustace, a wonderful baton curler majorette, uh, died of cancer a couple of years ago. And Kevin Kurzweil left us recently, too, as I remember. Anybody else's name need to be mentioned that we don't have with us anymore? Liz Perry. Liz Perry. Liz Perry. Thank you. Mrs. Mrs. Hodge. Mom Mrs. Hodge. Perry. Mr. Gebhardt. Mrs. Hodge. Mrs. Hodge. Mr. Gebhardt. And Mr. Gebhardt. Yeah. Yeah. Bob Morris. All of those. And Bob Morris. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Good. Okay. Um, and, and then if, this is an example right now, and it continues. You see it, little pieces of this kind of thing as the history of the band goes along. There's a guy marching today that's going to have a hip operation, hip replacement, in about two weeks, okay? And he would not, not march in this parade. <laughs> two things. I, oh, that's better. Um, brass players. Please, when you get down to the bottom of the parade route after we after we perform in front of the senior center, please take your instrument over to the truck. Steve Morrow was sitting over here sweaty as a nut because he unloaded all the gear down at the bottom. So okay, I'm gonna let him tell you what he did, and then I got one more thing. Okay, here's the deal. If, if you got a mellophone, a baritone, or a sousaphone, or a drum that belongs to another school, all the cases are in piles, but they're organized by school. All right, you gotta find your case. If it's a Syracuse University piece of equipment, you can feel free to pack it and load it. If it's any other school, pack it, but leave it in its pile. Please keep the pile separate, okay? There's been, like, one thing I've noticed has been in common Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and yesterday. And that's, like, uh, Davern and Perry and Borsch and Stacknick are schlepping stuff. Like, you can't believe. I don't want them to schlep any more stuff. Keep the things in their school pile. If it's Syracuse University, you put it right back on the truck. Any other school, pack it, but leave it with that school's equipment. We'll take care of it after, okay? Just quick, flags, uh, after parade, find my wife or myself, we'll collect everything. By the, by, near the truck somewhere. And last but not least, I think the thing that we, saw, we forgot about at the last reunion that really makes a strong connection amongst all of us is this, everybody touch. <laughs> and it goes like this. Say a prayer, a very unselfish prayer. One not for yourself, but so that someone else in this band can do their very best job today. How do you feel, West Gotta line them up. Okay. Line up! Here we go! Great job, Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. Great job. <laughs>